Okay, hi, uh, this is Cameron, and I just want to make a quick video. I'm out here on my morning walk. There might be some background noise, but that's whatever. And uh, if it looks like I'm crying, it's because I am, and out of laughter, because uh, I'm just thinking about something. I was reflecting back on my weekend, or my last week, in Mexico for an event for uh, Jen. And we were in Cancun, and we had this really cool opening to one of our uh, sessions. And we had these two folks who are Gen members, and they were both from what you would normally refer to as like the Iroquois. Um, they're Native Americans, and they have another name for um, their particular uh, tribe and so forth, which I don't remember what the name was, but um, they were called the Iroquois generally is what the French called them. And they did this really cool ceremony uh, where they offered like a ceremonial blessing, and they played some traditional music as a blessing um, over the whole group and everything. Hmm. get a little choked up thinking about it <laughs> but uh it was really cool because one of them one of the it was the, the husband and wife and also the the mother and I, I can't remember who what who was that said it but um i think it was neil but i might be mistaken and he said one of them said that in their culture they believe that children are the souls of ancestors coming into this world, you know, into a physical body, into a physical form. And I was just walking and I was thinking about that and I was listening to a song that I had recorded, you know, a few years back. And it was kind of about the point of how we treat children like they're inferior. And I just started laughing because it's so stupid. Like, <laughs> children, when before they're programmed by this world, like, have so much potential. Like, an amazing amount of potential. And they don't require <laughs> that much to be able to activate and fulfill that potential. Mostly what we do in our world and in our human culture, our human society, is we program children to be broken to be inferior to what they're capable of we program them to be consumers believers acceptors people who see themselves as inferior to an authority people who believe there is an authority outside of themselves i mean we deliberately do this to our children and when i say deliberately i don't mean we're necessarily aware of it I think most people aren't aware of it. They're just doing what they were programmed to do. And I mean, it's a pretty brilliant system when you think about it. If whoever's benefiting from it, they did a pretty good job because not only are you programming that person to fail and to be less than who they are, but you're program programming them to program the next person that they are responsible for. And as parents, we don't really take responsibility for our role as parents, for our children. And it's not to judge anyone because again, you're programmed. The, the very fact that as a programmed individual, programmed to fail, that you could even change that, that outcome or even make a dent in it, to me, is, if you wanna call anything a miracle, that would be a miracle. It seems impossible. How is that even possible? You know, when Zig Ziglar says, and I don't remember the exact quote, but something like, you're endowed with the seeds of greatness, you're engineered for success, you know, etc. You may know the rest of it. What he's telling us is that we are programmed inherently to succeed. And yet so much is done to us through our own acceptance. Unknowingly, in many cases. But it's with our participation, ultimately, that programs us to be less than who we are, that, that we, I mean, we accept it. We're all accepting it. So, <laughs> I just had to laugh because I'm imagining myself being a parent and, and look, I know if you're a parent and you have lots of experience, you can say, well, you don't know what it's like. You're right, I don't. But that's not the point. That's like saying, to a person, well, you don't know what it's like to try to become a baseball player. I had a really hard time and I just couldn't do it. Well, some people do. Some people do what it takes and they figure it out and they push themselves and they get past all of their excuses and limitations. 
And if you didn't, that's okay. No one's here to blame you. But the thing is, you still have time left on this earth. You can become better. You, it's not even better. You can become who you actually are. You know, Bernard Pullman always said, I'm not special, referring to himself. He said, I'm not superior. A lot of people thought he was because of the way he was able to carry himself and support and, and speak and move and act. He said, I'm not superior. He said, I'm normal. There's a peacock. He said, I'm normal. You're abnormal. I mean, we're all walking around like zombies, like idiots, just following the leader. And to be honest, nobody knows what the hell they're doing. They're all just carrying out what they were told to do. It's really sad, but that's why we're here. <laughs> we're here to show people that you can make a difference. That's what Jen's about. Oh, there's a car coming. So just hold on. It's going to go by right now. There we go. You know, Blaine Athorn, hopefully you can hear me now. Blaine Athorn said at our last uh, major event in Cancun that, was it Blaine? It was it Troy? I don't remember who it was. Maybe it was Troy. They said that we're here to show the world that you can be responsible for your life. And if everybody did that, we'd have an accountable world. We'd have a world that's much better than it is now. We can't expect others to do it first. We have to do it first. We have to take responsibility. We have tools for that. Jin, the Global Information Network is one set of tools. Destiny is another set of tools. NeoThink is another set of tools. What I do for my career, TechnoTutor, is another set of tools. These are all tools. When you put them together, it's like, have you ever seen Power Rangers? All right, <laughs> like these guys wearing these ninja suits, right? And they fight to get bad guys. But then if the bad guy is like the size of Godzilla, they're like, oh shit, what are we gonna do? So they gotta jump in their little vehicles. And those vehicles all combine together. Like one guy's the arm, one guy's the head, one guy's the torso, and they're like this mega giant robot and they kick ass. When you put all these things together, you become like this, it's not superior. It's a normal person fulfilling your capability, your full potential. And you can do so much more. Like in the small amount of time I've been applying myself in my life towards that goal, I've experienced so much growth and expansion within myself and re releasing of my own personal abilities that we all have. We're not all going to look the same and act the same, but we all have the potential to be great at something or, or several things or many things. And that's what these tools are for. But at the end of the day, I just had to laugh because we're all accepting so much less of ourselves. And then a child comes into this world. <laughs> and we're like, oh, we know more. We're going to teach you what's up. We're going to tell you what's up. No, you don't. You don't know more. You know how to wipe your ass. You know how to eat with a fork. You know how to cross the road with looking both ways. But you don't know how to live. You don't know how to live fully. Express yourself. Observe children. They'll show you. Just support them to keep that going and support them to survive, but not at the cost of that. You can do both. I'm not saying be crazy and let your child do something that's gonna harm them, don't, right? Support them, but support yourself also to be more fully here, more fully able to express yourself, to be who you really are. And I mean, that's really what we're here to discover and to not discover, but to decide, to express, to choose, to be is who we really are. And I can't decide who you are, you do. But I know who I am and I know what I'm here to do. So I just wanted to share that today. Have a great day. Have a great week. And uh, I don't know. I'll see you on the next video whenever that is. Take care.